Okay, so this is going to be a very short video. Uh, I had done, I, I guess it was only yesterday, it feels like a while ago, but I had done a, a video on my damp basement and how it's been negatively affecting my my PLA especially. But uh, I just wanted to share these containers. I, I had bought them the other day, and I think I showed them on the stream, but I just wanted to share like how perfectly they fit a standard uh, one kilogram roll of uh, 3D printer filament. Uh, you can see I have one here. This is the one I had the other day. And I actually went and bought three more this morning because I wanted to, to pick them all up before somebody else bought them or they were sold out. But these, uh, I put a link in the description to the man, the Sterilite site itself. But like, if you're anything like, if your area's like mine, like several of the big box stores around here carry them. So you'll be able to get the best price there, I would imagine. But anyway, uh, this is a standard 2.2 pound or one kilogram roll. And you can see they fit in there absolutely perfectly. And they have a nice uh, kind of, I wanted to say rubber. I guess it's kind of like a soft silicon or silicone uh, seal. And I've been using these. Uh, with these that are also available at Walmart until my uh, bulk package of desiccant comes in. But these are just uh, stack on safe and dry desiccant packs. There's little four of these in a package for like $5. And I've just been keeping my rolls in these with the roll itself in. And then I just tossed two of these in. You could probably get away with one, but but I, I want them super dry because I think it had some moisture in it from the other day still. But I like them because the lids are completely removable. Like you don't have a flappy lid in your way. Like you can just take it off, throw it to the side, and you have easy access to your rolls to put them in and out. And they they clamp down on all four sides. So it has like a fairly good seal. Like if you press on it, you can tell that it's probably not perfectly airtight, but good enough to keep moisture out. So that just seems like the perfect solution for me right now. And I've already had several people contact me and say that they also have uh, either their printers in a basement like mine, because I don't live in a particularly damp area. It's just that I have an old house and the basement walls aren't sealed all that well. So moisture gets in from the ground. But uh, these are the containers that you're looking for. They're the Sterilite Ultra Seal uh, 4.7 quart or 4.4 liter, depending on where you're at. Uh, at my Walmart, they were only $5.20, I think. Uh, you can buy them on the Walmart site. I think they're right about that price. But that just seems like a really inexpensive solution to a relatively serious problem that I ran into. Uh, they stack nice. So like I said, I got, I have four of them now. So I only have two rolls of filament and the other one I haven't taken out of the vacuum package. But anyone else that is having this problem this is a fantastic solution. Uh, I've seen some guys using some of these square upright containers and they just seem like they're kind of a pain to get your filament in and out of. And like, like I said, these sit nicely on the table. Like this isn't gonna fall over or do anything crazy while you're trying to like get your filament in and out. And you don't have any weird lids or have to put them in any particular direction. The, the spools just fit in here perfectly, so. Uh, like I said, this, this is going to be a really short one, but I just wanted to share this so people know uh, exactly which containers they're looking for. And same with these. Again, I think um, four of these containers and a pack of these, which you have four packs in, so you could put one pack in each container. I think you're in for less than, what, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll say $20 at, at the most. Maybe maybe a hair more than that, depending on pricing, where you where you happen to be, but... Uh, no, that's just a fantastic solution. Uh, there, there are other solutions, but like for me, it would require construction and a $200 dehumidifier and a bunch of other things that I just really don't have the extra cash sitting around for. So for 20 or 25 bucks, it's just like a fantastic solution to the moisture problem with filaments. And I do know there are some like bigger rolls of filament that these likely won't work for. So I, I don't really have any advice for anyone who has those kind of rolls, but any of the smaller ones are, are obviously going to fit, so, so as long as you're not buying the big five or six or whatever size rolls they are, these should work good for you. So I just wanted to touch on that quick and share that with everybody so they can get the, uh, the, the correct stuff. But again, I'm going to drop the stream down.
and we're going to come back and as nervous as I am about doing it, I think we're going to we're going to take the old bearings out of the machine and put the dryland bearings in and give them a go. So I'll be back in a few minutes to do that with you and hopefully it's not going to be a major undertaking like I'm afraid it might be. So we'll be back in a few minutes and we'll do that together. Thanks. <laughs> 